my beautiful family. Welcome to my channel. I have a full box of products that I got from my beautiful friend Valerie uh, in my in our box swap. So if you want to see me using all of the products, then please keep on watching. On my face, I have this palette as my foundation and my uh, contour bronzer and my concealer. So if you want to see that, that video is going to be up here. Under my concealer, I do have this um, color collect corrector that I really like. I really, really like this. Um, so I did use this in another video, in the video be before, but you can see it. First, I'm going to go in with this that I got from my friend Valerie, purple. And use it a little bit under my eyes. Let's use the finger. Brighten it up a little bit. Mm. I like this. It does make a difference. Now I forgot to apply it on the this eye, so I'm trying to go in again. Well, like that. A little bit here. This spot. What do we have more? I'm going to use yellow here around the nose. Oh, I like this. This is very light. It feels like a primer. It feels oily, not oily, but creamy texture. It's very light, but when I go in with the finger and dab it in, it feels very, what to say, um, it dries down. We have some red here. I'm going to correct. I like this so far. I like that. I think I'm going to use this a lot. And I have plenty of products to play with. So let's start. I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to use some powder to set this primer. I do need to do that. And I'm going to take out all of the product that I got. Oh, I really like product they look so beautiful and i can't wait to do this video to play with them and see how they're going to work for me so i'm going to use some nikia joy powder and set my now now we can play with the products i got four of these cover girl instant cheekbones palette i have in shade rose uh, refined rose pearly pea plum Peachy, peach perfection and also the what is this? This is instant eh? sophisticated sable. Now these two sophisticated sable and uh, peachy perfection got a little bit broke, but I just opened them and pressed them slightly with my fingers, and it's just like new. I did watch a video to see how I'm how I can use this product because I never heard about them. I also got the mascara for CoverGirl, this beautiful palette from Huda Beauty. I got some liners from CoverGirl and Katie, Katie, Katie Cat eyeliners, three shades. I got some eyelashes, plenty of eyelashes. I'm taking out every plenty of eyelashes, so I have so much to choose from. Can't wait to do so. Uh, let me take out everything else. I got the mascara from Laura Geller. Got the box on Wanderlust blush in Dolly. I got the Stila uh, liquid eye liquid eyeshadow in uh, this girl Enigm Enigmatic Enigm en Enigmatic. I think I pronounced that right. Patrick Talip Shine in Major Glow. This is she's an influencer. And I also got the daily sun cream. Now, I already played with my foundation, unfortunately, so I'm not going to use this today. Uh, but I am going to try it out, of course, and tell you in another video what I think about it. And I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. Now, this came broke. The old shades came broke. So I did repair them. They swatch like new. Uh, they look stunning. So I'm going to play with them, maybe as an eyeshadow topper or maybe as a highlighter. We'll see. We'll see. I am going to use my bronzer, Bake It 
but, but a bronzer just to bronze up my skin. Just to. Okay, so now we have bronzer on, and I'm going to go in in this CoverGirl Sophisticated Sable. And I'm going to go in with this middle shade here and use this blush brush from um, Luxie. And this is very soft. And I'm going to use it on this side of the cheek. Oh, that looks nice. It's a really nice product. I can see myself using these a lot. And these small look like uh, also look like highlighters. Very nice soft highlighters. I like that. Uh, we have this one. I like that. I don't know if you can see guys, but it's very nice. And easy to build up. I know this small color here. Maybe I can use as a bronzer. Let's use the same brush. And maybe go a little bit on top of my bronzer. Just gave my bronzer like satin finish. I like that. It blended very nice. I like that. Now I have four of them I can play with. I can't try all of them today. But I am definitely going to continue playing with them, of course. They look stunning. Stunning. I really like this uh, pearly plump also. Very beautiful. Oh, I like that. So I'm going to clean this brush because I'm going to try the... I want to try the blush. Now, if you want to see the product I sent to Valerie, I'm going to link the, her videos down below. And this is the dolly. It's it was on my wish list. And if you want to see the products I have on my wish list, you can check it out up here. And I did send this to her too, but I think it was Havana shade. Um, those two shades, the Havana and this one were my favorite shades. Ooh, uh, that's a little bit too much. I applied a little bit too much. Let's see if we can blend it. They are very soft pressed. They are very soft pressed and I went in a little bit too with too much product. But it's blending nice. And I do have like a blushy look. So I like that. That looks nice. I am going to finish my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Now we're back with some eyebrows. And we are going to go in with the palette. Now this palette looks so beautiful. This was also on my wish list, and I'm so happy that Valerie bought it for me. This packaging is everything. This looks more beautiful in real life than it does Instagram. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, and I'm going to go with this Momentum, this bright shade. First go in with that one. Let's go in with this off balance, this shade here. I love this shade. Oh my God, I love this shade. It's called off balance. This has to be my favorite shade ever. I'm going to use another smaller blending brush. This is the Ofra 21. And I want to go in with hot mess very pigmented and deep up the crease a little bit oh my god such a beautiful color and they are blending nice i am going to create mini makeup look with this palette because it's stunning it's stunning and I'm going to deep up the outer corner so I'm going to blend take this vor vortex tix tux I don't know how to pronounce this shade it's like a dark purple 
And I'm glad it's not a black in here. And it's a little bit different dark shade. This palette looks to be a perfect uh, palette for beginners because everything is they're so easy to blend the shades. So you don't need to work with them a lot. I like this a lot. Okay, so I am going to go in with this shade here. And I do have a flat brush. I want to try to use it with a flat brush. This is Linda Halbert 305. Uh, I use this comic, but I think it's going to work better with my fingers. But let's just try. Nothing's coming. No, let's use the fingers. Ooh. Oh my God, this is stunning. Valerie, thank you, girl. I'm in heaven. I love doing these box swaps with Valerie. We do them two times a year. Uh, we just love preparing these boxes for each other. We talk about them all the time. We tease each other with the products that we bought. We don't tell each other what we bought, but we are teasing, teasing a little bit. And I, I just love Valerie. You need to check her video out. You need to check her channel and subscribe if you already haven't. But she's one of my best friends and she's been always there for me. The January was a very hard month for me and she was a best friend ever being there for me so you need to show her love i am going to go in with the stila stila uh, liquid eyeshadow let's go in with this one and i'm tr going to try to blend it with a brush the edges with the brush. Oh my God, look at it. This, it goes so perfect with this palette. Valerie knew what she was doing. I'm going to go in with this brush and just blend the edges a little bit before they dry out. It's so stunning. I don't know if you can see guys, but this is stunning. This looks stunning. I'm going to clean this brush and I want to go in back with this pink and try to build it up and, and a little bit with this purple just to oh it goes nice with this brush and these two are working beautifully together so this brush does pick up the color this is Jacqueline Hill and Morphe 42 So, I really want to go in with this blue shade here, and I'm going to go in with that under my lower lash line. I don't care if it's not going to match my eyeshadow or it's going to look weird. I just want to try. Guys, I'm surprised how this color is so pigmented but so light or bright. I'm going to go back with this vortex that we had in the corner and deep up this corner too on the lower lash line. So we connect these two. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Clean, clean this brush because I'm going to go in with the off balance that we had and kind of blend everything. Just connect everything together. I love this palette. Oh, I'm so happy I have it. Look, now we are going to go in with the cover girl eyeliners i'm going to use the white one in my waterline i hope that's okay i don't know if they go in the waterline or not but we are going to do that which one is white this one i'm going to use uh, these i haven't seen these before now i think they've been around for a while but i haven't seen them uh not in sweden so i'm going to get rid of the packaging let's see Ooh, I like that. Let's go in the waterline. I need to hold the mirror, but how am I going to hold the mirror and do it at the same time? I can't. Ooh. 
Now this has shimmer, so it has it's not like white white, it has a nice shimmer. So look, it's really beautiful. It's more like silver. I like that. I have two more shades. I have black one, but I am going to use the shimmer one. That's like I don't know, black with some shimmering. Not even shimmer, satin. So it looks black, but also not black. Let's use this third color and swatch it and see how this one is looking. Oh, this one is matte black. Oh, this one is matte, matte black. We're not going to use the matte black. We're going to use, and uh, there is a smudger. Let's see how it's going to smudge this. Nice. Like that. I'm going to use this as a liner. I really like this shade. Shade. It's not too dark and intense, which is more my cup of tea. I'm going to, but because I have a little bit darker eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the black one uh, just to show you how they work on the eyes, but it's pigmented. And so easy to apply. Really easy to apply. Like, like them. I'm going to put them here so I can always read from. Okay, now it's time. I don't know if I'm going to use the La Laura Geller or if I'm going to use the CoverGirl Peacock Flare. But because we have eyeliners, CoverGirl, and the cheek palettes, maybe we'll go in with Laura Geller with another brand just to try it out. Never tried anything from this brand. I don't think I tried anything from Laura Geller before, so I am going to go in with that one just to try a new brand. Oh, that's a weird applicator. One. Very short bristles. This separates every eyelash. Oh my god. I like this. This separates every single eyelash and it's giving me not length but volume. Problems that I usually have with mascaras is that they flake and smudge under my lower lashes. I hope they, this one won't because I really like the results and this is only one coat. So far so good. So far I like every every product every product now this feels a little bit wet the mascara so i'm not going to try to move my eyelashes around a lot my lips are dry and cracky now what do we have more to try we are going to go into into patrick ta lip gloss she's an influencer and i'm going to apply it without anything just to show you how it looks and then maybe i'll go in with a lipstick on top uh, under it Or we'll leave it like it is. Oh god. Mm. Goes so good with it. Goes so nice with the eyes because it has some shimmer. It's thick. It smells it smells like mint. But so comfortable. Mm. So comfortable the lips and my lips look so juicy. I don't know if you can see it has blue, purple, pink, silver glitter, small, small glitter spots. And I like this so far. I really like it. Though I am going to remove it and apply a lip liner, and I'm going to go in with my um, Rebecca Stella lip liner. Okay, now we have a lip liner on. 
and blend it in with the Patrick Pal lip gloss again. Mm. So perfect. Even if the lip gloss is a little bit thick and it feels kind of oily, it doesn't remove the lip liner under it and it doesn't feel heavy. It feels very, very, very nice on the lips. Very nice on the lips. And my lips look so plumpy. Love this lip gloss. Ooh, I'm so happy I have Patrick Tao lip gloss. This is going to go with me everywhere. Now we have eyelashes and we have the highlighter left to try. I don't know what eyelash I'm going to use today. Let's go with this false mink. I like when they are smaller here and go up longer at the end. And a hard couple of pairs. So let's go in with that. Valerie knew that I don't have a plenty of eyelashes left, so she knew what she's going to get me. Okay, so to apply the lashes, I'm going to use the what's it called? The Kiss Kiss Strip Lash Achiever. Achiever, I think that's how you pronounce it. I really like the eyelashes. Now, I left them a little bit too long. I could definitely show them a little bit more, but I really like them. They are big, but they're not heavy. So, lashes are on, and let's and go and use the last product in this box. It's the highlighter palette. Now, I really want to use this as my inner corner highlight, and I'm going to use Jaclyn Hill and... Uh, Morphe brush 42 and use this in the corner highlights. Look at this. I know I want to use one of these as a highlighter, the lighter shade. This one or some of these three. I don't know which one. Let's swatch them. Sunshine and Ariel. Let's swatch them for you. You can see guys, but they are stunning. They are stunning. Beautiful. I think I'm going to use the yellow one. Sunshine. Let's try and use it as a highlighter. This one as a highlighter. And see how it's going to work. Yep, it's working. It's stunning. It does go and looks more pink on my face than it does when I swatch it. Let's go in and take, let's go and swatch this, take a little bit of this also. Wow. Oh, that's pink. That's pink. I like it. A lot on top of this gloss. Can you see that? My lips automatically look metallic. This is a product I can definitely play more with. It's beautiful. Uh, they are very, very nice. And I'm definitely going to play with it a little bit more. I don't have anything like this on in my collection. So guys, this is the final look with all of the product that I got from Valerie. I love everything in here. I'm so happy. Definitely going to continue play with, playing with them. Especially these that I didn't have uh, a chance to try all of them today. But I am going to try them in other videos. And I'm going to tell you what I think. And which one is my favorite. Sorry for my hair. It looks like a mess. But guys... That's everything. I really like like everything. I really like the color collectors, the mascara. I really like the lashes, everything, everything, everything. Lip gloss. And I think it looks stunning. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go over to Valerie, subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
leave her a comment, some love, and thank you for watching me. See you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.